chose this one in the Everyman uh, Palace Theatre dressing room thing. And then I have a video shoot for the Adult Panto. Yesterday I had a photo shoot for the Adult Panto. Then I have a tech rehearsal for Merchant of Venice tonight. Two Merchant of Venice shows tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday I have a bullying prevention show. Thursday I have two Hamlet shows. Friday I have morning off, which is amazing. Um, Saturday wrestling training, Sunday wrestling show. And Monday I have um, my first ever stand-up gig in Dublin. So it's going to be a very busy week, so it's going to be fun times. Let's do this thing. For we'll beat it at two, at twenty to two, a rat a tat a tat a two, and the dragon will come when he hears the drum. At a minute or two to two today, at a minute or two. Actors' warm-ups are the weirdest thing in the world. Thing particularly hard to say, yet harder still to do. Okay, the show is about to start. The audience are in. I have my sexy guy liner on because I'm playing a woman. Um, I've, play, I've done Romeo and Juliet for two years, but this is a new character that I'm playing now. I was playing Romeo all of the last two seasons. Now I'm playing. Hello. I'm just doing <coughs> different characters. Who's Marie? She's playing Juliet. Look, lovely, isn't she? With her middle finger. Ah, why did you hate your life? <laughs> that was convincing. It has no berries in it. Ah, that's harsh. No need for that. No need for that at all. So, yeah, show's about to start. Let's do it. You can hear them. It's scary when you can hear a group of teenagers ready, ready to judge you when you do Shakespeare. We're setting up for the video shoot for Adult Panto. We have these lovely ladies here. Fuck off. You look now. You feel menace. Fucking cunt. <laughs> Your own this is Jesus. Angela getting tied into her clothes. Mm. <laughs> Look at the boobs. Let's Look, at, Look the boobs. at the boobs. Ah, yeah. oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> you just warned me before you pulled the thing. That's another reason why I'm happy I'm not a woman. Day two of this uh, crazy busy week. Um, yesterday went well. I had two shows, Romeo and Juliet. I think they went okay. Um, I got laughs and stuff in the right places. That's kind of all I go for, really. Um, today, I'm a little bit more nervous. I'm marching to Venice, and I think I know this play a little bit less. But it's okay. I'll be fine. All the rest of the cast have been doing this play for a while. So it should be good. Tuesday. Martin Condon, actor extraordinaire. Go on, how do you think yesterday went? Super. Yeah. Especially the part you wrote, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what a dressing room is like. Some laughing now. <laughs> I need you to be there enough for me, that's today, like, you know. I need you to be fucking there for me. Not dropping your lines and shit. <laughs> I will definitely be dropping my lines, trust so, me. To add to the even more busy week, uh, we have to stay in Kate's dad's house, which is where we are now. Um, there's, there's painters in our apartment, which we were told about yesterday. Um, I think we're going to stay here for one night, but we're not sure yet because the painters won't tell us. Mm -hmm. But yeah, today I had two Merchant of Venice shows and a adult panto rehearsal. And the two shows went really well, panto, panto rehearsal went very well. Also, uh, yesterday I had the video shoot, which you've seen, the panto video shoot, which is all a bit mad. Um, so yeah, very busy. Tomorrow I have a bullying show and a tech rehearsal for Hamlet. So busy. What are you doing? Working. Working 9 to 5. <laughs> Yeah. This is the worst part of this job. Filming, but I was talking to the mirror. <laughs> this is the worst part of this job. I have to shave for the bullying prevention session, which means it'll be clean shaven for Hamlet, which is horrible. But yeah, let's do this then. Bleeding and I look ugly. Shaving is horrible. Anybody going by at school without someone getting in your face? 
And my dad, money, 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 money. That's all he ever talks about, you know? And, and if that's all life is about, people making as much money as they can, then I, I think maybe I... Three shows done, how do you think they went? Three shows, five shows. Fuck, well, yeah, but three. Romeo and Juliet were chained and oh, yeah. like, yeah, you know, killed by your door. Ah! Marcus, are you on drugs today or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah I really didn't slept last night. Normally that makes people tired, not like... <laughs> Has a reverse effect on Argentinians. This is our boss. <laughs> this is Val now. Val's oh, mad about me. Mad about me. She has a husband though. And she doesn't cook so it's not gonna he happen. He even started shaking. Listen Valdonia. Are you I'm just afraid of there. me? Are you no, just, of me? Listen, just get your act together so eat like cooking and stuff. Right. And Woodhouse. Woodhouse. Sorry. I know what that means. Help me get offended. It's compliment. Oh shit, you know went down the stairs. Marie's trying to murder. Murder is not acceptable. Look at the distraction. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, there's uh, Keen and Marie having a kiss. I took that photo. For the photo shoot, not just for having Ireland. <laughs> 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 I have sex here Problem with working in the Everyman is you always end up getting hillbillies. Or subway basically. Back lads, <coughs> so we're in hillbillies. You see here, I might have a little bruise. Luke just punched me in the face in the theatre. So, so far he's punched me, kicked me in the balls, rehearsal, slapped the heck out of me on stage. And we've only been like, this is our fourth bullying show. Well, our fourth bullying show with the Shakespeare shows. So, I don't know how this year is going to treat me, I'm probably going to be dead. I hate that guy. Lovely healthy lunch. That was a uh, fucking adult panto rehearsal. Now I'm at a wrestling show, so it's a strange day. Going from singing with my tongue out to dealing with Lee fucking Catalan. Is this Luke's vlog? I'm going to do it again. The it's return done. of Luke's vlog. <laughs> yeah. Hey Luke's vlog, how's it going everybody? Some life lessons with Lee. Life lessons with Lee. All right, let's take a look at Billy. Do I'm not bleach your face. Time. It's very dangerous. We'll come back to this in a while when he's got some serious irritation in his face. And that's been your life lessons with Lee. Sold out show, biggest show. And what about this? The voice of Irish wrestling is back. Who's he? Vinny O'Mahony. Holy sweet and sour chicken. Holy sweet and sour chicken, baby! He's back. And like, he thinks I'm joking, Holy but I'm going to clap him. Uh, the bishop's down. The bishop's down. It's half time. My match is next. I'm going to have to go and kill somebody. Yeah, I just have to have a match with uh, Titan Carol Bryan against the establishment. Went fairly good. Did you win? No. Of course I didn't. Because this fucker, look. This clown. What's this? Referee, you're going to get abused in the next match. I'm not. I have power now. You can't fuck I'm going to abuse the shit out of you. Oh, I'm going to abuse you so bad. Just finished my match. He kicked my ass. We have lost that out. It was also one of my fights. Boom. Wrestling. Okay, so I just finished um, the wrestling show. I wrestled Kurt Simmons and I lost. The audience were great, they booed the shit out of me and I fucking love it when they boo me. And I'm just going over some stand-up ideas for tomorrow. And tomorrow I get to play around and do some stand-up and have more adult panto wrestle tomorrow morning. Oh, busy life. Just arrived in my hotel in Dublin, the Regency Hotel. So no one's going to have to charge my phone for five or ten minutes, head into Whelan's, do a bit of stand-up. Getting a bit scared now. <laughs> And this man, I lived with this man for, for a couple of years and he used to leave for work every single day at the same time. And I knew 20 minutes later that uh, using his picture phone, 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 this guy would document 
too many times a day, how do I put this nicely, his bowel movements, <laughs> and he would then text them to me, paying 35 cent a fucking gun. <laughs> this man used to spend about four euro a day sending me pictures of shit. <laughs> I think, I think like, you can't really describe anybody better than that, can you? Um, luckily though, uh, you're going to see a different man now, because that was, that was back in our teenage years. He's grown up since then, and uh, doesn't need to send me texts. Because uh, that's what Snapchat's for, isn't it, yeah? <laughs> and uh, he blocked me, because I tried to get him back. Didn't work. <laughs> so guys, this is his very first time. As an audience, let's be a bit rough. <laughs> let's be a bit gentle. With your laughs, I want you to break that hymen of humour. <laughs> and everyone, start putting your hands together. So let's let's start it now. Everybody, give a warm welcome to Luke Barry. Hello. Are we getting on tonight? Yeah. As Dwayne said, there, I did used to send him pictures of my shit, but. Uh, if I had Snapchat, it would have been a lot easier. I was very dedicated to the cause. It's actually not as much fun when it's free to do it, to be honest. I think the fact that I put so much effort into it, that's what made it a bit more fun. He knew the effort I was going to direct his day questions. Like, if I asked you there, would you rather die in a fire or die from drowning? You don't know. Nobody can answer these questions. There is no proper answer, but these people that ask these questions demand an answer every single time. I was asked a question once, right? And it was this. I'll put this one to you and I want you all to think long and hard about this now, right? Would you rather listen to your parents have sex every day or join in once to stop it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shane, answer me this one, buddy. Would you rather listen to your parents have sex every day or join in once to stop it? You don't know. Again, there is no answer you can give. There is no right answer, but these people demand an answer every time. Another question I was asked. This one is the worst one. Would you suck your dad's dick to save your mom's life? Think about that one, no? There we go. I couldn't answer this. And this guy said to me, but if you had that. <laughs> the other thing is that during it, you're, you don't mind, you're fucking a couch. Afterwards, Afterwards, you start to question it. You start to feel a little bit guilty about it. You wonder, what the fuck would I have done if someone walked in when I was mid coitus with a couch? <laughs> no, I, I have to say, I made love to that couch. I made sweet love to that couch. I made three piece sweet love to that couch. <laughs> yeah, there's a joke for my furniture enthusiasts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's always that awkward gap in between that. And I'd be right, going at it. <laughs> whatever noise your penis makes and you're wanking it. And patience me, that's what I'm saying. Technology is way out of control at the moment. Do you know how I know technology's out of control? A couple of weeks ago I was watching a video online where Stevie Wonder used FaceTime. <laughs> Think about that, Stevie Wonder is using FaceTime. Stevie Wonder should not be using FaceTime, he's black. Ah, you thought I was going one way, I went another. Zigzagging. <laughs> All right, see this. This is how unprofessional I am. I wrote my set out shorthand on my hand here. The only problem with that is, my writing is terrible. Looks like I wrote it down during an earthquake, and I was dyslexic, and had Parkinson's. I can't understand a word it says. So that's it. Thanks very much for my first time in the great audience. Thank you. Good stand. Everybody, Luke Barry! My uh, camera went dead as the night went on, so pretty much I, I filmed my stand-up set and after that I couldn't film anything else, but I'm back in the hotel now, my camera's a little bit charged. Um, I just got to actually watch my stand-up set footage there now, I'm really happy with it. Realistically, my only plan was to not completely embarrass myself. And I don't think I did, I think I actually did quite well, I'm really happy and I'm really looking forward to hopefully trying to do it again. It's one of those things that I, that I always wanted to do. And that's why this week has been so amazing. I got to do um, acting. I, I got to do Shakespeare. I got to do panto. I got to do video shoots, photo shoots. I got to do stand-up. I got to do wrestling. These are all things that I really wanted to do. And these are all things that people tell you you probably can't do. 
They say, don't do that, you know, sure, oh God, no, nobody gets the chance to do those kind of things that they want to do. But I, I got to do all of them this week and it's amazing. It's been an amazing week. I know this is more like emotional than I normally get or whatever, but I, it's been an amazing week. It's been unreal. It's been so busy, but it's been so much fun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue vlogging. I'm going to keep trying to do more stand-up. I'd love to do more stand-up right now. Uh, I have acting tomorrow. I have uh, two Shakespeare plays tomorrow and I have adult panto rehearsals all over the next few weeks going into the Adult Panto show. So keep following the vlog. I'm gonna try and keep it up every week now again. Like me here on YouTube, subscribe to me on YouTube, um, follow me on Twitter at I Hate Luke Barry, on Instagram at I Hate Luke Barry, at Snapchat at I Hate Luke Barry, and let me know what you think. Thanks very much, peace out y'all. Boom.